join us for the prayer to Jesus the Divine Word. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dear Jesus, Divine Word made flesh, from the beginning you already were, before even time began, you are Son and with the Father and the Holy Spirit, three persons, one God. But in the fullness of time, you who created man became man yourself, through God the Holy Spirit and Mary. You became Jesus, divine word made flesh. You came to our world to save us and show us how to live and love here, so we may live and love hereafter. Dear Jesus, divine word incarnate, please teach us to follow you. May our love for you always be made flesh, not ever lost in word or song alone. In prayer, we come face to face with you, like you with the Father and Holy Spirit, in love and service, may we likewise come face to face with our sisters and brothers, the least of them most of all. For as we treat each other, so do we treat you. In your name we pray now, always and in always. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. A blessed day to all of you, sisters and brothers, and to joy those who join us in worship through this live stream at the Diocesan Shrine of Jesus the Divine Word in Christ the King Mission Seminary, Quezon City. Today is Wednesday of the second week in Ordinary Time. Our Mass presider today is Reverend Father Raniel Nachima, SVD. Our Eucharistic celebration and devotion to St. Joseph will now begin. Please stand. gathered around the table of the Lord to thank Him for all that has been. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Sisters and brothers in Christ, for us to be worthy in this sacred celebration. First of all, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord to forgive us. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who govern all things both in heaven and on earth, mercifully hear the pleading of your people and bestow peace on our times. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Melchizedek, king of Salem and priest of God Most High, made, met Abraham as he returned from his defeat of the kings and blessed him. 
and Abraham apportioned to him a tenth of everything. His name first means righteous king, and he was also king of Salem, that is, king of peace, without father, mother, or ancestry, without beginning of days or end of life. Thus, made to resemble the Son of God, he remains a priest forever. It is even more obvious if another priest is raised up after the likeness of Melchizedek, who has become so, not by a law expressed in a commandment concerning physical descent, but by the power of a life that cannot be destroyed. For it is testified, you are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are a priest forever in line of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand till I make your enemies your footstool. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The scepter of your power the Lord will stretch for it from Zion, rule in the midst of your enemies. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. Yours is princely power in the day of your birth, in holy splendor. Before the day star, like the dew, I have begotten you. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. The Lord has sworn, and he will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. You are a priest forever in the line of Melchizedek. We honor the Holy Gospel. you and with your spirit a reading from the holy gospel according to mark glory to you o lord jesus entered the synagogue there was a man there who had a withered hand they watched jesus closely to see if he would cure him on the sabbath so that they might accuse him he said to the man with the withered hand come up here before us then he said to the Pharisees, Is it lawful to do good on a Sabbath rather than do, to do evil, to save life rather than to destroy it? But they remained silent. Looking around at them with anger and grief, at their hardness of heart, Jesus said to them, Stretch out. Jesus said to the man, Stretch out your hand. He stretched it out, and his hand was restored. The Pharisees went out and immediately took counsel with the Herodians against him to put him to death. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed day po to everyone. We are still on the 18th day of the year kaya happy new year na rin po sa inyong lahat Saint Mark in the Gospel narrates to us about Jesus healing a man with withered hand in the synagogue and on a Sabbath which is according to the Jewish law 
it is unlawful. For the Pharisees, Jesus violated the law. And so they had organized themselves immediately after that event with the Herodians to file a case, to plot a case against Jesus, to put Jesus into death because of that healing that happened with the withered man. For Jesus, saving life is his top priority. He must have been aware of that kind of law, but he would not afraid, as he often did, to go against it in order to save life. For Jesus, that kind of that particular kind of that law is meaningless. Come to think of it, here comes a man who is in need of healing. And Jesus could not afford to just ignore that man because of that specific nonsense part of the Jewish law. Sisters and brothers in Christ, like the man with withered man with withered hand, I believe that you and I, all of us, are in need of healing from any kind of sickness, be it physical, emotional, mental, psychological, or spiritual. Like the man in the gospel, nothing, or like the healing in the gospel, nothing, nobody will forbid, will obstruct Jesus to heal us. And so in this Mass, we pray for healing. So as peto ng physical, for example, tell to Jesus kung ano-ano ang gusto nating gusto nating gamutin niya sa ating buhay. Physically, when we were younger, we did not care much about health, about kalusugan. Di ho ba? We did not care about what to eat, kung anong bawal, Hindi natin pinapansin yun. But we realize as we grow older, isa sa mga lagi nating pinag-uusapan is kalusugan, kalusugan, kalusugan. I just received the result of my laboratory or other procedures yesterday. At ayun, mataas pa rin ang uric acid, mataas pa rin ang sugar, mataas pa rin ang cholesterol. May kinalaman siguro sa mga Christmas party, sa mga, sa mga kainan, sa mga nagdaang occasions. I'm still 39. Paano pa kaya? Isa sa mga worries ko, paano pa kaya pag mag advance na ang aking edad? The other day, I was with a big group playing badminton somewhere, somewhere there. Alam nyo, naiingit ako sa dalawang senior citizens in their 70s, yung isa, 75, but is still playing badminton. Sabi ko, that's a big sign, that's a good sign of good health. Kaya was reflecting, marits ko pa kaya 75 ang 75. As we grow older, kalusugan, 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 isa sa mga concerns natin. The same is true sa aspeto ng psychological, emotional, spiritual. We need healing from Jesus. And so in this Mass, we tell Jesus sa aspeto ng emotional, spiritual, psychological, we tell Jesus kung ano-ano yung mga pinagdaraanan natin, asking Him for healing. Sa mga may mga malulubhang nararamdaman, pray more, get closer to Jesus, be healed. We do not pray to Jesus that Jesus will remove all the sufferings that we have. Of course, that's not, that should not be our prayer. While we are on earth, while we are still breathing, that would seem impossible to happen. Remember, Jesus himself undergone sufferings. The saints themselves 
undergone a lot of sufferings. What we pray instead is that Jesus would never leave us alone, especially when we are in pain, especially when we are suffering. I remember a story about a woman na diagnosed siya ng cancer. This woman is a churchgoer, daily, regular churchgoer like you. Tapos sang araw, na-diagnose siya ng cancer. Siyempre, pag na-diagnose tayo ng ganun, immediate na prayer natin is for healing, healing, healing. But as she noticed, as uh, days passed by, she noticed, parang lumala, mas lumala ng lumalang kanyang nararamdaman. In the end, pinalitan niya yung prayer niya. Lord, I am not asking for healing anymore. Alam ko na ang patutunguhan ng buhay ko. I'm not asking for healing. What I ask now is that, Lord, please don't let me, don't le- leave me alone. Dear friends, that should be our prayer. That in times of pain, in times of suffering, Jesus would not leave us alone. Please all stand. Christ liberated us from the destructive powers of evil and sin so that we could be free to cooperate in spreading the good news. We ask God for His grace and blessing. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer that the church may seek to free persons from whatever stands in the way of communicating the gospel to men of our time. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, our, hear prayer, our prayer that the Lord may give hope and encouragement to the starving of the world who are unjustly deprived of food, clothing, and freedom. We pray. Lord, hear our prayer, that Christians everywhere may not be people of legalisms and outward observances, but people with a heart who do what they have to do as God's children, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer, that we may show concern to those who are suffering, so that we may lighten their burdens and help them to keep trusting in God. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer, that the dead and those who mourn their loss may see hope and comfort in the resurrection of Jesus. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for our other personal intentions. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, we claim to belong to you and to your Son. Help us through your Spirit to love you by caring and making other people happy. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Come to me and drink. Come to me. Drink, O let all who are thirsty come to me and drink. I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live and know that I am the Lord. Come to me. to me and drink oh let all who are thirsty come to me and drink i will pour my spirit on all flesh your sons and your daughters shall prophesy Come to me and drink, come to me and drink.
Dear people of God, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries. For Whenever the memorial of the sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Father most holy through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Your words through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you, holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. As with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took of bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith For as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we praise that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Anastar Bishop and all the clergy. Remember us, our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. We include in our prayers all our brothers and sisters who have gone ahead of us. We pray for the soul of Jose. 
Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased us throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. As sons and daughters of God the Father, let us now call unto him through the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace be with you. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. of the world have mercy on us Jesus Lamb of God you take away the sins of the world grant us Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not worthy, worthy that you should enter under, under my roof, but, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. I 
Let us pray. Pour on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this one heavenly bread, one in mind and heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. And Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We receive God's blessing in this Eucharist. Go and be God's blessings to others. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God.
prayer service in honor of Saint Joseph. Be blessed, Saint Joseph, a person according to the heart of God. You were found worthy to care for God's own mother and be a father of his beloved. We honor in your person the choice of the eternal Father who wished to share with you his power over his only begotten Son, the choice of the Divine Son himself who wanted to be subject to you and be called Son of Joseph, the choice of the Holy Spirit who singled you out to be the protector and chaste companion of his immaculate spouse, Mary Most Holy. We share your joy that you were permitted to cherish the child Jesus with tenderly love and care. We reverence the self-control and continence which you manifested all during those years when you lived under the same roof with the Virgin Mother. Praise be the Lord who has given you such a sterling character that the Virgin Mother could place her full trust in you to protect her. Be blessed and praised, our Father and Protector, for living a life so worthy of imitation. Make us zealous to follow in your footsteps. Petitions. Blessed Joseph, faithful spouse of Mary, ever virgin and guardian father of the child Jesus, we come before you to offer you our filial love and gratitude. We thank you for the loving care which you bestowed so faithfully on Mary and the divine child. Show that same fatherly care now to us, who are members of Christ, in the mystical bond of his body and blood. Blessed Father and Patron, be our intercessor with God. Implore for us that purity of heart which you always manifested in all your undertakings. Teach us your lively faith, your prompt obedience to God's will, your unassuming way, and your great love for Jesus the Lord. Glorious Saint Joseph, we implore your aid for the entire believing community, our Holy Father and all the bishops, priests, and religious of the Church. Guide and assist also all temporal rulers. Be the model of patience and diligence for all workers, and come to the aid of the poor and afflicted, so that they obtain what they need to live worthy Christian lives. Be with us above all at the hour of death. Allow us to die in the arms of Jesus and Mary as you did, by the assistance of your powerful prayers. Intercede, we beg you, for the faithful departed, especially the deceased members of our families, that they be admitted to the glorious vision of the triune God. In the silence of our hearts, let us present to God our needs, prayers, and intentions through the intercession of Saint Joseph. Remember, most pure spouse of Mary ever virgin, our protector, Saint Joseph, that no one ever had recourse to your protection or implored your aid without obtaining relief. Confiding therefore in your goodness, we come before you and humbly beg you, do not despise our petitions, guardian father of our Savior, graciously receive them. Amen. Amen. Prayer to St. Joseph for workers and those seeking employment. Silent and well-known carpenter in Nazareth, model of workers, by the work of your hands, you gave your contribution to the work of the Creator. You earned your living and you provided for the needs of the Holy Family. Intercede for all workers in the difficulties of their daily lives, especially for the unemployed, in their anxieties for tomorrow, so that through the guidance of God, the great architect and builder, they all may use their strength and talents to make visible God's new creation, to offer a concrete service to society, and to earn wages worthy of their efforts. With confidence and trust, we make this prayer through Jesus. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
sabay na aming paglalabay Ngayon magpakailan man Ikaw ang aming patubay Ang kababang loob Habang buhay dinataglay Upang siya Bye now.